Hello family and friends, I'm Susan and welcome to my home. Hey everybody, it's Susan and I've got another great no-bake dessert for summertime. Nice and cold, it's called a banana split cake and it's not like an average cake, it's more kind of like a cheesecake, but it's really good. I'd like to thank Deb for showing me that recipe. I made it quite a few times and it is so cool and refreshing whenever you eat it. Kind of like a banana split in cheesecake form. Ponytail up, let's get to cooking. Hey everybody, it's Susan and we're gonna make another no-bake dessert. It's called banana split cake. We're gonna have two cups of graham cracker crumbs, one stick of butter, melted, eight ounces and three ounces of cream cheese, one cup of sugar, five tablespoons of milk, four or five bananas, one large can of crushed pineapple, drained, a large Cool Whip, and nuts and cherries to go on top. And then let's start the process with the graham cracker crust. And I put the butter in the microwave for about one minute and melted it. And I'm going to add first the two cups of graham cracker crumbs. And then the one stick of butter melted. And now I'm going to mix that up and put it in the bottom of my 9 by 13 pan. And I'm stirring up the mixture of the butter and the graham crackers to get it all moist. And even though it doesn't look like it's going to get moist, just go ahead and keep stirring. That way all of the graham crackers get some moisture on them. And you'll see in a minute, all the graham crackers will look a darker brown, like those do, which means you've gotten the butter on all of the graham crackers. Now that I've got everything mixed together, I'm gonna go ahead and pour them into the nine by 13 pan. and I'm going to press them into the bottom of the pan. You can use your fingers, you can use a spatula like I'm doing, it doesn't matter. As long as you get them evenly pressed, all the way out to the sides, that way they form a good little crust. And I'm gonna go in and do my hand at the end. That way I can kind of feel and make sure that everything is consistent and we don't have any higher places or lower places. That way they all are the same level. And it's all nice and moist. So now we're ready to get the cream cheese mixture to go on top. The first thing I'm gonna do is add the sugar. And then I'm gonna add the cream cheese and I'm going to basically pinch it off into little pieces so that way it'll mix up easier. And of course, I've had this setting out on the counter for a little while, as soft as it can be, as you can see. Okay, and here's the rest of the cream cheese. It is an eight ounce cube of cream cheese and then three ounces of, cube of cream cheese. Like I said, I'm just pinching it off. Right, now it's time to add the milk. And mix it with the hand mixer. Okay, and I'm going to mix it with the hand mixer until smooth. Now I'm gonna spread the cream cheese mixture over the graham crackers. I actually don't have to spread it too much, I just need to pour it over. Let me see if I can get the edges going a little bit. 
All right. And I'm going to put this back in the fridge for just a little bit because this is a little bit warmer than I would like it. I need it to solidify. So when I put the bananas on top, they won't slide down to the very bottom. And I've sliced all my bananas up. That was four bananas. It calls for four to five bananas, depending on how big they are. And I'm going to put them on top of the cream cheese mixture. And all I'm going to do is basically put these on top of the cream cheese mixture. I think I've got enough bananas that I should be able to cover it pretty good. I'm going to try to do it in a single layer. I did let my cream cheese get a little too warm, I think. So I did put them back in the fridge to cool off. That way they wouldn't go to the very bottom of the cream cheese whenever I put them in. They're staying kind of on top, which is what I wanted. And I'm just basically lining them up with bananas. Okay, now let's put the pineapples on top. I put the crushed pineapple into a strainer so I could strain off all the liquid. And now all I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of the pineapple over top of the bananas. And just go down the whole tray here with it. Okay, and that looks pretty good. I think I've about covered everything with some pineapple. And now I'm going to put the Cool Whip on top. I hope this is soft enough. What I'm going to do is just put it on the top and spread it out. Some of it's soft enough, some of it's not. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm getting it on the spatula and then wiping it off on the plate. That way it gets it where I want it to go. Okay, and as it softens up a little bit, I'm going to spread it out even more to cover all the pineapple. Just like that. And right before you serve it, you want to add the cherries on top. And I'm going to go ahead and pop some cherries onto the very top of it. Okay, all the cherries are now on, and it calls for nuts. I didn't have any regular just peanuts, but I'm going to put some candied pecans on that I had instead. I'm just going to break them in half, sprinkle them on, and get that candied nut vibe. Okay. Banana split cake. Now let me get a slice out of it. Ah, and I see a little man wondering what I've got on the oven. He can't have none of this though. Banana split cake. It's not necessarily a cake. It is a no-bake dessert. And it's layered. And I do mean layers of goodness. The bananas and the cherry. There you go. Banana split cake. Look at the layers. So good.
please give the banana split cake a try. It's really good, really simple, and no bake. What else could you want? As good as a banana split ice cream, but better. It's like a cheesecake. Until next time, have a great week. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.